Hey, guys welcome back to our channel. In this video we are going to talk about 10 of the most successful celebrity production companies. Spike Lee's production company, 40 Acres and Emule Filmworks, has produced over 30 films. Classics like She's Gotta Have It, Do the Right Thing, and Malcolm X were made possible by actor Spike Lee's production company, 40 Acres and Emule Filmworks. Founded in 1979, the company, which is named for the infamous Reconstruction Era policy, has produced over 30 films. More recently, in 2018, 40 Acres and Mule Filmworks produced Black Klansman, which was nominated for six Academy Awards in 2019, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Director, for Lee, Best Supporting Actor, for Adam Driver, Best Film Editing, Best Original Score, and Best Picture. Ultimately, the film won the Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay. Through her production company, Hello Sunshine, Reese Witherspoon centers female voices. Hello Sunshine's website states that the company puts women at the center of every story. Those who have seen its films and TV shows, such as Where the Crawdads Sing and Little Fires Everywhere, know that to be true. Hello Sunshine collaborates with Witherspoon's Book Club. Many of the production company's films and TV shows are screen adaptations of books featured in the club. In a 2021 CBS Mornings interview, Witherspoon discussed what her woman-centered production company means to her, saying, to be in a position where I'm able to open the door for people who have felt other for so long, and say, now you get to tell your story in your own words, is enormously fulfilling, and I feel excited every day to wake up and do that for a living. In 2021, Witherspoon sold Hello Sunshine for $900 million, although she still oversees the company's day-to-day -day operations with CEO Sarah Harden. Adam Sandler founded Happy Madison Productions in 1999. Sandler named his production company after two comedic films in which he starred, 1996's Happy Gilmore and 1995's Billy Madison. Happy Madison is the production company behind box office hits such as You Don't Mess With the Zohan, Bedtime Stories, Just Go With It, Grown Ups, and Grown Ups 2. The Grown Ups series alone has grossed over $500 million worldwide. Although many of Happy Madison's films are popular among viewers, critics aren't always fans. The 2011 film Jack and Jill, for example, received a 3% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Paper Kite Productions, Amy Poehler's production company, has produced hits including Comedy Central's Broad City. Paper Kite Productions is responsible for hit shows like Broad City and Russian Doll, and movies like Moxie and Lucy and Desi. Paper Kite's debut project was The Mighty Bee a cartoon for children starring Amy Poehler herself. Broad City won a Critics' Choice TV Award for Best Comedy Series, and a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Motion Design. In 2022, Poehler spoke to Insider about her work at Paper Kite Productions, saying, I've been very lucky to be able to work with incredibly talented women, to learn from them and learn with them. Oprah Winfrey's production company, Harpo Productions, has produced many critically acclaimed films and series. Harpo Productions is Winfrey's self-titled production company, Harpo is Oprah spelled backwards. Harpo has produced critically acclaimed projects such as Selma, a 2014 historical drama about Martin Luther King Jr. which won Best Original Song and was nominated for Best Director at the 2015 Oscars, and When They See Us, a 2019 fictionalized account of the story of the Central Park Five which was nominated for 16 Emmys in 2019. Harpo Films is currently in the process of producing a 2023 adaptation of Alice Walker's The Color Purple. Winfrey made her acting debut in the 1985 movie adaptation of the novel. Elizabeth Banks Production Company, Brownstone Productions, is responsible for the Pitch Perfect series. Brownstone Productions is widely recognized for its major success as the production company behind the Pitch Perfect series. The first Pitch Perfect debuted in 2012 and became an instant hit, prompting the production of two sequels in the years to follow. The trilogy has grossed over $350 million to date. More recently, Brownstone Productions was behind the 2019 version of Charlie's Angels. In addition to being produced by Banks Company, she wrote and directed the action comedy film, and played the role of Boss, although the movie was not as well received as her other projects. Well, if you're going to have a flop, make sure your name is on it at least 4x. I'm proud of hashtag Charlie's Angels and happy it's in the world, Banks tweeted in November 2019. Thank you guys for watching the video make sure to subscribe our channel for more videos like this.